Welcome back sledders, I'm your host Carly Applin. Mountain and backcountry riding can be technical and require some skill. So let's head back to the basics with Amber Holtz Mountain Riding Clinic. Hi, Jeff Fisher here. I'm in Island Park, Idaho in the beautiful mountains. Joining me is my son David and Amber Holt with Backcountry Basics. Amber, where are we staying here? You're staying at the Sawtell Mountain Resort and this is my main base. My clients can actually stay here and ride right from where we're sitting. Backcountry Basics. What's it all about? Backcountry Basics teaches the fundamentals of backcountry riding. We focus on throttle control, rider input, rider positioning, and counter steering, which is basically how to ride your sled on one ski. So in other words, you're going to try to teach me and break me of some bad habits? I sure am. Well, you know what? Let's go ride. Okay, sounds good. Backcountry Basics was uh, developed to get the fundamentals for new riders and experienced riders to ride more efficiently and easier and focus on the basics of backcountry riding. As an instructor, she's very patient and she's very thorough and to get student, as I was, to properly execute the moves and to do it the, the right way. What I teach in class in two days took me two and a half years to learn. I had a very patient husband who wanted to see me succeed and become his riding partner and that's what made me the rider I am today. Okay Amber, we're out here in the field. You know, where, where do we begin? Well the first thing Jeff we're going to work on is finding a clutch engagement point. And that's where the energy from the motor is delivered to the driveline to the track. Try to listen and feel your sled. There you go. Yeah. So you're just about, you're slightly low on your RPM. See if you can build them a little higher before you pop it. The roll on, roll off exercise, which I call the magic carpet exercise, we're finessing using throttle and brake together. We're learning how to accelerate and decelerate without just using the throttle or just using the brake, but using them in unison as one. So when I am ready to slow down, I actually begin to slowly squeeze my brake and then release my throttle. That second round, you had the handle on it. You don't realize when you do hit it like that, you just dig right down. As soon as I felt and I could figure out where to hold the brake and to be a little smoother with the throttle, the sled laid a lot flatter. And this is a really good technique too on those deep powder days. So you can keep it right at clutch engagement point, believe it or not, with the brake. And you can actually pretty much be at a stop and then get going again and never sink your track, especially in that soft, dry powder. Articat is the backbone behind my company as far as having the correct chassis to teach students on. I couldn't ask for a better chassis. The new 6000 when they came out with it this year, that sled is like the most ideal entry level training sled there is. But it's not a sled that somebody's going to outgrow either. An advanced rider can get on that and have a a lot of fun with it. It's really nice to learn on that 6000 Articat because the motor's so smooth, so controllable that it's a real easy sled to maneuver and control and help better your riding. If I'm a stickler about feet work, especially with a new rider and especially with if the ladies were here with us today too. Now the key to this is we want to take the arch of our foot and we want to put it on the running rail and we want 90% of our rider weight or our balance on our front foot. And our back foot is just basically back there to stabilize us and help balance. If you put your weight forward on that forward foot and your other foot back, remember how you were asking me a pointing direction of your hip? Yep. Now I'm actually kind of 45 off the nose, putting all my mass and weight onto that uphill ski and spindle. To balance and practice riding it, go ahead and just relax your knee into the cowling or into the side panel here and head up. And you can actually kind of lock your back leg and arch your back a little bit and that will help you balance for this maneuver on the flat. Okay, we've just finished up with Amber's course and I tell you what, it made a believer out of me. It's very important to get back to the basics. I don't care if you're male, female or what age you are, 
You come out here once, twice, three times a year, it's very important to learn to get back to the basics, where to position your body, burn less energy. Amber, it was just great. How can people get a hold of you? Well, they can visit me on my website, backcountrybasics.com, or they can go to their local Arctic Cat dealership and get in touch with me. Can't thank you enough for having the Sledhead 24 crew out here and teaching us how to get back to the basics. You're welcome. Keep your head up. I'll remember to keep my head up. <laughs> From larger groups to couples and even the advanced class, Amber Holt will truly make you a better rider in just a few hours.